Hello everybody, Fiber Spider back again with Fallout 4. I have been waiting to play this game again for a very long time. I had so much fun with the first, you know, rendition, if you will, that I couldn't wait to play it again. And since we played as a man before... Hey, my turn, big guy. Mm-hmm. We are going to play as a woman this time. So, that being said... I'm thinking... Jeez, she's more jacked than I am, and I'm not jacked at all. Um, let's go with uh, athletic. How about that? Accept. Good. Okay, not going to go absolutely crazy with modifying the the face and so forth but uh let's see does she have any blemishes or anything oh we could do a bit of makeup that could be cool uh let's see uh my beautiful wife nope oh gosh no 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 cancel yes makeup okay so she has some lipstick lip matte lipstick. I like the lipstick. No, that that's kind of scary looking. Uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Cat's eyes. Yeah, sure. Whoa, that's a bit much. Okay, there's like no difference between those, but okay. Hmm. Ah. I don't wanna, whoa, she looks like she needs some sleep, man. <laughs> okay, uh. Uh, that that works. Oh yeah, yeah that works. Yeah, but hey, there you go. Okay, uh, back. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do too much in the way of modifications because you really don't see her hair all that much. Uh, let's see, color. I want a nice red. I think. Yeah. New hairstyle. Well, now we're going with the style now. We just did the color, dork. You never notice anything! She looks like a femme fatale. Like she should be an assassin. Oh, even more so. Oh, that that's so Norman Rockwell. I love it. So that's picket fences. Okay, maybe picket fences. I think that's a ponytail in the back. I can't, yeah, that's a ponytail. Sort of a Harley Quinn look. Sort of Rosie the Riveter. Ah! You know, yeah, just, just woke up. Well, that's kind of fun. little too well kept. Makes me think of uh, Queen's Gambit. Wendy the Welder. Oh, okay. Mm. Ah! <laughs> Alright. I'm actually, I'm kind of thinking, uh, picket fences. I like that. Okay. And I think we are going to leave it at that. I have the best hairdresser, I swear. Yes, you do. Okay, back. And let's keep it as is. Okay. All right. 
So, yeah, uh, I really, really loved playing this game and really wanted to start in again. Let me turn this off real quick. There we go. Um, and the reason why... Hello. Coochie coo. Reason why is because I'm now going to be using one mod for carrying capacity. Hello, Codsworth. Why, thank you. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> Gotta have the coffee. Yeah, I, I did change the, uh, the one modification to, uh, almost unlimited, not quite unlimited, but almost unlimited carrying capacity, because that was my biggest setback in the last playthrough, so that's the only mod that I put on. Thank you, Codsworth. I'm glad we got Codsworth. Do I look nervous? I look nervous, don't I? <laughs> yeah, otherwise, no mods. And we have the DLCs. Enjoy your coffee, Mom. I love Codsworth. I think he's probably my favorite NPC. Also, another thing I was thinking about was not doing the Minutemen questline, because I, I, mm, I think his name is Preston Garvey. I just found him to be rather annoying in his rather staunch beliefs. That salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. All right, I'll get it, hun. Hello. Good morning. vault calling. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, well, then I'm glad you're here. Then I'm glad I opened the door. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Okay. Let's go for it. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay. I'm thinking Alice. Was also thinking perhaps Trixie, but that was you know in the uh, the honeymooners vein, if you will. But let's let's go with Alice. Now, as far as my various points, I think I'm just going to distribute them evenly across the board and go from there. Okay, let's go for it. <clears throat> Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Thank uh, you. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. <laughs> oh dear. Miss Alice, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection. So good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? What's the matter, little Sean? 
my boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? You got it. <laughs> That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Well, if we don't deal with nuclear winter first, sure, sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Speak Codworth? of the devil. What's wrong? Well, let's go. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate stations. Oh no. We do we do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. Oh dear. We need to get to the vault. Now Yeah, let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. Are you coming? You Let's go. Registered. Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Get to the vault. Get to the vault. Vault, vault, vault. Get to the vault. And I can't run. Now I can run. I get winded so easily. That's absurd. I am Not on the list. You don't go, get go, it. go. You can't stop sure. me. Hi. Hey. I'm reporting this. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, you sir. You follow me. And Come on. on. What's going to happen to all those this people way. outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Hurry, Step hurry, hurry, platform. scurry. In the center. Good of you to make it. Okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Oh boy. And I just washed the car. Ooh. The beginning of the end. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. All right, let's go. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. Oh, You're safe now. For you. Just All this way, please. Residents. Please proceed yeah. in an orderly fashion. This way. Where's, Where's my hubby? Home. Come on. Mail. This way, please. Mail. Just this way. Sounds good. Can I go through, please? Step over to the table and take a seat. Just step over. Hello. To the table. Welcome. Thanks. Pick up a suit. What right now? Over there. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. All right. It's See? down the hallway, right there. This is our new home. Right over there. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? Just the checking everyone off the list. To be fashionable, to as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? You know, I've seen the movie Alien, 
<laughs> Just step in here and put your vault suit on. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Mommy's right here. Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Oh. There she is, see? Mommy's not. There we go. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Uh -huh. For a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. A little chilly. Can I have a snuggie? No, 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 oh! My hubby, my baby! Oh, that's just so evil. Frozen and helpless. Baby kidnapped. Husband murdered. Where's the justice? Okay, somebody get me out of this lunchbox, please. Thank you. Ugh. My hubby. Come on. There has to be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god. Nate. No. Oh. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Oh. Well. Let's say hello to the new world. And we've got more pods in there. <coughs> okay, we can go this way. I don't think we can go this way. Nope. Oh, hello. Ooh. Hello. Yep, I'm armed and dangerous. Look out, bugs. Alright, let's see if we can find any goodies. Ah, there we go. Stim pack, very nice. That's where we came in. Critical 
let's see. Take a look. Okay, so security, security logs, not what we need. Okay. Also, in this playthrough, I'm going to go a little light on the story. As far as computer logs and that sort of thing, because I did a lot of that in my last playthrough. Giant roaches? What the hell? Oh, no, I don't want to sit. I wanted the coffee cup. My hair is like a helmet. <laughs> How much Aquanet did you use, honey? Okay, coffee. Thank you. And the reason why I'm picking up absolutely everything is because of crafting later. And I'm not going to play, but I do want the the hollow tape of Red Menace. There we go. It's a retro video game. Okay, anything else I can pilfer? Oh, toaster. Good for parts. Yeah, I think this is empty in here. Okay, onwards! Wait! Oh, hello. Yeah, good for glass and ceramic. We got some creepy crawlies in here. Yeah, get zapped. Hello? Hi. And rad roach meat is really oh, helpful for cooking later on. Hi. What happened here? Where is everyone? Yeah, I'm going to leave him there. I don't want to get zapped myself. Oh, we've got company. Hello. Ah! Dang it. However, little sippy sip. There we go. Good as new. Ah, loot. Okay, now this one I do have to use in order to open up the door. That much I do remember. There we are. Da 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 da! Is this all that's left? Pretty much. Okay, so... Yes, bobby pin. Lovely, lovely. Bobby pins are great for lock picking. Extra gun, always good. Nothing else. Yeah, I cannot open that yet because I do not have the lock picking skills yet. We're working on it. Ooh. Okay. Mine. Again, mine. Thank you. Uh, we're good. Okay. Onwards. Oh, shnikes. Yeah, I, I want vats, but I can't use vats now, can I? Okay, so it's just gonna go in, go in for broke here. Really? <gasps> right, where's the meat? Did I pick it up? I don't think I did. Hmm. 
thought I could use VATS. VATS is uh, a way of... Oh, targeting things easier. Alright, you know what? Let's actually go back to my baton. Yay! Yeesh. And the reason why is because ammo is at a premium. At least right now. Thank you. And I'm sure that there's going to be another water fountain in here somewhere. No, nothing. Hello? Very nice, thank you. Is anyone alive? Nope, just me. Did anyone get out? Is there another one in here? Another buggy bug? Oh, where are you? Oh, hello. Come on. Ah. And we have our pit boy. Woohoo! I love this gadget. Da 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 da! Awesome. Okay, so inventory, apparel, eyeglasses, increases perception. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, check out the weight capacity. 501,040. How awesome is that? That's why I did the mod. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. You know what? One thing that I do want to do, though, real quick. I just want to find a water fountain... Real quick. There was one, wasn't there? Bear with me. I just want to regain what little health I lost. Oh, this will work. Here we go. Perfect. All nice and copacetic. Okay. And then just cut through here real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. And then quickly through here. Down this way. Whoop. And then we'll get a chance to leave. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that's your hand. Okay, yeah. Activate. So excited to be playing this again! In case you guys couldn't tell. And now there's going to be a lot more content with this game because, yes, I got all of 
the DLCs in the... It was some sort of, like, um... What is it? What did they call it? Season Pass, yes. Okay, so, yes, we're finished. Let, let's, let's just go for it. So, over time, I'll be able to make robots and uh, crafting ammunition, you know, you know, have machinery, and capture animals, all sorts of fun stuff. So, very much looking forward to that. But yeah, like what I was saying before about Preston Garvey, I believe his name is, with the Minutemen, it was just, I could appreciate his sort of moral code, but he never shut up about it. It was just like, yo, we must do the upstanding citizen thing. We must help the Minutemen. And it was just every five seconds. Ah, home sweet home. Dang. Well, let's have a look-see, shall we? See what we can scrounge up. Oh, there's another... Oh, that's a birdie. Uh, another box. Nice! Actually, I had an idea. Let's see here. Molotovs. Yes, let's favorite those uh, in the up position. Sounds good. Okay. Hello. Pardon me. Okay, and that is, I think, if I want to go back down in there, which I might do once I have better lock-picking capabilities. So, not just yet. Cram. Okay. Officially looted. Good. All right. Let's go. Let's go check out our... Well, what's left of our home. Sanctuary. Ah, oh, man. There's Codsworth. Hey, buddy. As I live and breathe, oh, it's it's really you. You're still here. Codsworth, you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is sir, uh, by the way? Uh Ah, uh, he's in a better place. He's... in a better place. It's one way of putting it. Mom, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers. Or perhaps Shiraz. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? 
Uh, have you seen him? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. Poor Codsworth. Uh, nothing makes sense. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my baby. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It'll take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack if you must be famished. You okay? Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. Yeah, a bit. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Oh. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car. The car. <laughs> How do you polish rust? Oh. All right, stay with me here. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were were dead. I I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> He's so cute. And I love his accent. What's all this then? Oh. What's going on? Ew. Ew. Bloat flies. Let me just get the corpse here. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. All right, lead the way. I mean, I I love his AI, and I love how he is civilized yet in a and a rather efficient killer. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, God. Where'd he go? Yeah. Cosworth. Get him. Get him. Was he glitching? All right. What's the deal here? We got a glitchy bloat fly. Well, it worked to my advantage. Miss Alice. Your, yes? Your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? I guess so. Well, Sean's out there somewhere. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? And your people there? And... Last I checked, 
They only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Oh. Well. Thank you. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, Mum. <coughs> You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home. Okay, well. Nothing in there. Uh. It's a start. Okay, so what I think that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this place a little bit more mm, livable, if you will. Um, and in as far as doing that, I know I have to go over here. And we have ourselves a workbench. Workshop, excuse me. So now, what I can do is I can declutter all of this stuff, this this rubble, out of here. And not to worry, I'm not going to do all of this on camera. No, I will spare you. But look, I mean, we can get rid of huge structures and get materials while we're at it, which is pretty cool. Now, we also, on top of that, uh, we have things that we can utilize, like this cooking station here. And then there's also a, a lab. Uh, I think it's a, a chem station. Oh! Where are you? You little bugger. Ah! <laughs> I think there's another one, if memory serves. Somewhere over here. Yep! Hi! But, uh, yeah, what I can do... ...is I can do a lot of scrapping. Clear out some of the rubble, etc, etc. And start working on perhaps building some new structures. Could be cool. But yeah, I think that most of what I'm going to be doing here, I'm probably going to be doing off camera. But just to give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing as far as, well, cleaning up a little bit. Now, what I think I am going to do is move my cooking station to a more viable position. Because I want to have the cooking station and the chem lab where I'm going to actually utilize them. Like, for instance, get rid of this. Clear the way this right here. Thank you. And I've got my, uh, who's he, what's he's, my work, we weapons workbench there. I've got an armor workbench right here. I just need to get the chemistry lab, which, if memory serves, is back over this way. There it is. Oh, and get the fertilizer. Store you. Thank you. Scrap you. And pick you up. Bring it back to camp. And there are two more things that I want to do this episode real quick. Okay, now... I don't know which is facing us. We'll just leave it like that for now, I think. There we go. Okay, so the two more things that I want to do is... Can I get through here? There we go. Which house is it? Which house? 
some things that I do remember from previously. Yes, this is the house. First things first, let's get up on the roof via this very convenient tree trunk. Little bit of goodies, some extra ammo and things. Just take all of it. Yes, mine! And then... Oh, hello. We have ourselves a root cellar. Goodies! Okay, what else we got? You know, even aluminum cans are really good to have on hand. Crafting, crafting, crafting. And as I said before, that is why I took off the... Uh, the problem with uh, how much weight I can carry. There we go. So now, in theory, that should not be much of a problem at all. Okay, uh, and unfortunately, that's an advanced safe, which I can't do anything about yet. But we shall. So, yes, at, at some point, I'm going to have to come back here and unlock the safe. Oh, I almost missed some stuffs. And also go back into Vault 111 and deal with that safe so I can get the cryogenator or something. It, it's some sort of souped up gun. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do... Nope, wrong button. There we are. What I think I'm going to do is basically scrap, 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 a whole bunch of stuff between now and the next episode so that this place will be a little bit a little bit more doable you know because like right, right now like for instance this whole structure can be scrapped it's kind of addictive just you know get rid of everything now if only I could do this in my room, you know, just <laughs> push a button and uh, the mess is gone. That would be rather convenient. All right, so listen guys, as always, thank you for joining me. I hope that you are going to enjoy this as much as I am because I love this game oh so very much. And uh, also, of course, I hope you don't have any objections to my wanting to do a mod. Really, that is the only mod that I'm intending on using, quite frankly. If there are any others for the PS4 that would be compatible, I'm totally open to suggestions, um, but I want to keep it simple for the most part. There we go. And... Also, of course, we have the, the DLCs to look forward to. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, also, one other note. In the last playthrough that I did, I decided to side with the, um, the Institute. And that, I'm not going to do this playthrough that much. I can say. I am going to go with... Uh, an alternative means of, you know, which which position I'm siding with. I will say that much. Other than that, I have really no idea what it is that I'm going to be doing. So, your guess is as good as mine. Well, that being said, again, thank you for joining me, and, uh, you know, if you're enjoying it so far, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.